seen people when they walk into a room that if a photograph is hanging and it's slightly off centered, they go and straighten it or they adjust other things. And it always makes me smile that the person wants everything to be perfect. And so often this is true. We want things to be perfect and we have a sense of what that perfect is. And we go about wanting to adjust the world so that our lives can be perfect. And adjusting the world could be something as simple as hoping that there's a cure for COVID and so that we can all go back to what we would consider to be normal. But it's also adjusting so that people at work can be more agreeable. My boss can be less demanding. My spouse can be more cooperative. And if these adjustments happen, my life would be so much better. One of the most powerful messages of the Gita is that we don't have to change anything outside. Krishna taught Arjuna the Gita in the middle of a battlefield, a battle that Arjuna did not want to fight. He wanted to flee. And 18 chapters later, that same Arjuna stood very tall, weapon in hand, ready to face this battle, his enemies and most of all, his fears. Nothing outside changed. But Arjuna went from being this person who was pretty much having an anxiety attack, had fallen to the floor because his knees were too weak to hold him up, who was shivering with fear and crying with sorrow. He transformed and was able to face the very thing that seemed so daunting. The Gita prepares us to face absolutely anything that we have to and everything that we have to. Krishna's knowledge transforms us and then we are empowered to change the world.